Hello guys, Black Hawk here. Today I have here with me RX Vega 64. I want to do a complete overclocking for mining to see what kind of hash rates we can get. This card was originally bought for Monero mining because it was a beast for Monero for Kryptonite algorithm. I was able to, to get uh, 2200 hashes per second at Monero mining but since Monero moved to CPU mining I, I discovered that this GPU is also very very good at Ethereum mining. Before I put this GPU in a test bed I just want to check what is power consumption of this test bed without GPU at idle so we can um, see what um, is the power consumption of GPU alone so it is around 20 watts okay let me put the cart in, into the test bed and I'll be right back guys I'm back GPU is comfortably sitting in the rig and I have already started the program so we don't lose time but first thing first I want to show you my command line I, uh, with Vega you want to use these straps one because this will apply timings and this will uh, increase your hash rate dramatically okay first we will look at Phoenix Miner 5.4c and after that we will also look at Team Red Miner in Phoenix Miner I am currently running my um, everyday 24-7 settings because I believe those are um, good at um, power to at efficiency in fact um, I have um, uh, 1030 on core and 1130 on memory um, I believe those voltages are the best I have done a lot of testing and these are the best with Vega you need to be careful about this GPU HBM temperature Vega uses HBM2 memory and this memory likes to run very hot so you need to keep this under control 75 is okay but above 80 above 85 can get problematic um, so it, with these uh, settings I get 52.7 mega hash at power consumption of around 230 minus um, 20 for system and some few watts for uh, screen recording and stuff so we can say um, 210 205 watts for GPU alone let me try now um, a very economic mode I can reduce core to 950 and let's see what uh, uh, what power consumption and what will the hash rate be so hash rate is dropping also power consumption dropped so power consumption now is around uh, 220 ish so GPU alone is 200 or even probably below 200 because we need to consider screen recording also and hash rate is at 50.1, 50.2 or there, there or thereabout okay this is um, echo mode and now we want to, to see what is our max hash rate we can achieve I know we can go to 1100 on core let's see and on memory we can go to let's try 1170 I hope we will not uh, crash the GPU I'm afraid uh, screen recording my, might also be a little bit of a problem but let's see let's, let's just wait a moment power consumption is going up also hash rates are going up 54.4 this is good okay I think we can try 1180 oh. as soon as I try to go above 1200 GPU crashes 
it, it's just no way to go above um, 1200 oh hash rate didn't improve so let's try 1190 I hope we can still hash yes hash rate is increasing let's wait for a moment okay 55 this is looking nice power consumption is higher but this is normal well what what I have noticed the power consumption is not going crazy because we are not increasing voltages we are keeping voltages low and we try to go as high as possible on memory um, with this voltage okay 55.2 I think we can go to 11.30 on core let's try I hope we will not crash um, let's see if we can get 56 mega hash I think 56 is a good target mm, we are not uh, okay okay we are increasing a little bit I think we can try like this remember I can't go above 1200 or we will cr crash for sure oh 55.6 we are getting close let's try to increase core a little bit more I want to break okay I want to break 5600 uh, okay we are there 56 mega hash that's perfect um, but uh, please remember these settings are not stable and probably we can get it stable at around 54 or even 55 but I don't think this is healthy for GPU so I, so I don't recommend running these settings 24-7 uh, I think um, your GPU will not be okay in the long term okay let's reduce this to um, more safe settings and we forget to look at the power consumption but um, it was on the screen so you will be able to see it let me close Phoenix Miner and what I want next is open Team Red Miner and oh sorry I want to close this and I want to open this where is this now okay okay so Team Red Miner is starting also I want to open this okay so my settings for team red miner are a bit different sorry I'm using I'm using this for my regular setting so a little bit more on core and a little bit less on memory uh, I, I have found this to be most stable and also giving good hash rate at nice power consumption so very efficient and stable you, you have to understand that um, for 24 7 you want to run the most stable setting you don't want to mess with your miner every, every day because as soon as you get more uh, rigs you can't you can't um, work on your rigs every day because th this is a lot of downtown downtime sorry okay let's see what what we are getting on team red miner with these settings 53.3 mm, at 230 watts i think i can go like down on core so we drop a bit of hash what is our hbm temperature 76 this is okay okay let's see what we get now on on these settings um, so 1030 and 1100 we get around 53 mega hash at power consumption of 200 oh this is jumping around i'm sorry this parameter is not the best but it will do the job uh, i think roughly we can say it 
230 at the wall so 210 for GPU alone and uh, 52.7 mega hash okay let's try the echo mode now we can go to 950 apply so as you can see this is pretty much the same 52.7 for my 24-7 um, settings um, okay in echo mode power consumption drops to 220 or thereabout minus 20 or 25 it is a bit below 200 but hash rate also drops to 50.3 Mm, let's wait a bit more so so we can see if this 50.3 stands or it will it will be even lower yeah I, I thought so so 49.2 this is echo mode and now I, I want to see how much we can push GPU in in team red miner so we can go 1100 on core and I think we can try 11, let's say 40 on memory. I don't want to push it too much. I, I just want to go gradually. 1140. Okay, hash rate is uh, is increasing, but this is not yet it. We need to wait a little more. Also, power consumption is, is increasing. Um, I want to remind you one thing with Phoenix Miner when you put in command line uh, dash straps 1 it will apply memory timings to Vega automatically but with Team Red Miner you don't have this function so you have to apply it with uh, AMD memory tweaker this time we didn't have to apply it because it was already applied from Phoenix Miner. I will show you how to apply with um, AMD Memory Tweaker if you are using just Team Red Miner. If you don't apply these memory timings, your hash rate will be significantly lower. Um, okay, uh, we are getting 54.8. Let's push GPU a bit more so we can see where we can go I think on core we can go 11.30 I hope we will not crash I hope we will not crash let's see ok 55.5 this is looking nice we are still okay we are still mining let's see what 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 kind of hash rates we can get i think it will go even higher i think 56 is possible um one moment oh 56.26 even higher than phoenix and i think we can try to push it a bit more 56.26 is extra good, but be careful. Now this this HBM temperature is rising to 79, so I want to increase fans a little bit just to keep it below below uh, 80. I I think you can hear the noise. Let's increase memory a little bit more. I do apologize because of the noise, but you know, this blower fan on Vega is really loud and I have to, I have to um, spin it at almost max, so it keeps HBM2 memory un uh, temperature under control. Let's see what hash rates we can get now. Oh, we are still at 56.26, maybe core is not keeping up with the memory. Let's increase score to 1140. Because I increased memory and, and hash rate didn't increase, so maybe the core is bottlenecking. I 
think let's see hash rates oh 56 point let's try 1190 i hope we can we can do this i hope it will not crash i think 56.5 we have to get to 56.5 guys we are so close <laughs> we need to get there come on please please vega oh 56.7 yes this is great and i think if we wait a little bit more we, we can i think it will give us a little bit more 56.8 or even oh my god even 57 is possible now we have to push to 57 let me remind you again this is not healthy for a gpu long term so please do not run it at 56 mega hash 56.8 we have to push it more we have to push it to 19 1980 oh damn please vega don't crash on me please you have to see 57 um you 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 need to take care of consumption and uh, you need to take care of health of your gpu so you can use it for years you don't want to burn it in in months this is just a test okay we get 57 mega hash this is really great guys okay let me wait a little bit more i think it will give a bit more than 57 and then i will close this overlocking session um we will look at the results and i also have to show you how to apply uh, uh, memory timings in md memory tweaker okay let's wait for the final results so final results are here 57 point one one this is great okay let me reduce this to to more safe levels okay and i want to close all this and i want to restart computer and i will be right back guys i'm back i promised to show you how to apply timings in amd memory tweak tool so this is the tool and this is your Vega 56 or 64. I have uh, 64 Samsung HBM2 memory. So these are the timings. I already have file here. I just open it. So you see I changed TREF and all this stuff, um, overclocks, and then I just apply changes and I can close and then you start your miner this will improve hash rates hugely okay so this is um, the results we were able to get today so you have phoenix miner and team red miner um, all three results so echo mode low power consumption normal mode this is what i run 24 7 for mining and high power mode i, I really don't recommend high power mode because it is um, dangerous for the gpu i want to remind you again that every gpu is different these settings worked for me but it they might not work for your gpu um, remember silicon lottery um, and i also want to remind you to use these settings at your own risk i am not responsible if you damage your gpu i hope you enjoyed today's video and that you learned something and for the next video i want to try to um, bios mod vega 64 into vega 56 i have heard that you can lower power consumption and you can achieve higher mega hash and um, more stability so we will try that okay thanks for watching and see you in my next video cheers